Hey guys and welcome back to Mod Source 2. This is Casual Kiwi. Uh, this episode I want to quickly show off a couple of things we have made. So I've gone ahead and made this AE2 room downstairs down in the basement. Now we've got a few controllers here and if we duck down below we have got our resonant energy cell which I went ahead and crafted which is a big beastly thing that it is and a bunch of redstone energy flux ducts um, so we've managed to auto craft those bad boys and we've gone ahead and set up some P2P networks so with the P2Ps here you've just got them powered via this cable and then this one here is basically sending the channels it's sending data only so it is pretty much what we're achieving is removing um, or using standard cable as dense cable. So we're sending 32 channels down this till it reaches here and just saving on using dense cable basically. Um, so that's got these guys all set up with a bunch of interfaces, molecular assemblers and everything working there. Um, we've got our storage drives um, working off another channel there and then all of our machines are connected off a bunch of channels on this guy over here. Fan freaking tastic bunch of power we've got our main power coming down because we're having some issues so it comes down and then enters the resonant energy cell here and then exits via these other uh, conduits so it's all doing as it should storing up we did have 80 million I'm having a bit of a power issue and that's what we want to start working on this episode to be fair there was a handy little thing that I wanted to show you first so the network tool from AE2 uh, this guy here basically what I just realized today and I didn't know you could do it if you right click and then go up to this little tab here that says transparent facades click that boom your tra um, facades go transparent and now you can actually click oh, that's not what I meant to do if you have a bare hand you can actually access all of the interfaces and things through the facades without taking them off really really handy and I didn't know you could do this so I don't know if many of you out there knew you could do that but it is freaking handy um, so you don't have to remove the facades all you do is right click turn them back on again and boom all the facades are back pretty dang cool um, the other thing that we went ahead and made is the imaginary time block from quantum flux now that thing was really expensive I'll bring it up imaginary this guy here Boom. So it is four energized crystals, two iron casings, which are cheap, a ZBQ7, which is pretty dang dear, and some Mangloy, which isn't cheap either. So the ZBQ7, that guy there, is really, really expensive. And also, I could not uh, pull that out when I made it in the ME system. I had to take all of the stuff out of the AE system, sorry, and then craft it in a regular workbench before I could pull that out. So a little bit of a bug. Um, so I probably should report that, I guess. And I think it's Joe Tato makes this mod, I'm not sure. Um, and these guys here are freaking expensive. They require a nether cube and some Quibit crystals and four more of the ZBQ7s, but it does give you four of them. The Quibit crystals are nether quartz, diamond, and redstone. But this thing is beastly. So um, I've actually disconnected my power. Um, what I'll do is, I wonder if that will show you whether there's enough power in it to... So that's harvested those, replanted them. It's not going to. We'll quickly grab a tesseract and I'll show you what this thing does. It is pretty dang beastly. So we've got a tesseract there. Is that that is receive that's receive only. We'll grab this guy. I think I just grabbed the same one, didn't I? No, send only energy. Nice. And we'll connect that to um, our outgoing. Where's our outgoing? There. Yoink. Uh, Kiwi power, yoink, and upstairs, Kiwi power, yoink, then watch these guys, look how fast they grow, it is ridiculous. Now we found another machine, another plant, sorry, um, in the nether from Gainey's Nether which gives you wither skulls and you connect this guy out to it and it's unlimited wither skulls for days, it's, it's so OP, um, but it's neat. Well is it OP? It's freaking expensive and it's expensive to run, it uses a lot of power, but um, pretty damn cool in my opinion. We're going to turn that off because it's using all my power because that is the problem we have. We have very little power, and I wasn't sure if this Tesseract was eating it or whatever, so that's why I've been disconnecting it, because I keep running out, and I don't seem to have that many machines um, running on power, so I've gone ahead and added an extra solar panel to try and um, fix this issue. 
but we're still we're still having dramas. Um, I don't know where that capacitor came from. Have I accidentally nabbed that out of one of these machines? Octodic, octodic, octatic, octatic, octodic. Sounds like a dude with eight dicks, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> octatic, I think it is pronounced. Right, um, what were we going to work on today? Today we're going to work on the Mechanism Fusion Reactor. Um, so that's what I want to aim towards. So we're going to need to start with... Oh, I don't know if I've shown you this. I'm pretty sure I have shown you my Batania room. Pretty sure I've, I've shown you that I've started some Batania, started getting set up. We've got ourselves a runic altar and some mana pools and, and a terrestrial agglomeration plane um, so that we can make some terra steel. We haven't made a lot of terra steel. We've got three because um, I don't have a lot of mana. We've got these guys set up in here for our um, living wood and rock and all those good things um, and a lovely glass roof. It is night time, so we're losing power. We're going to duck upstairs and quickly sleep. And I do apologize for the FPS team if it looks shabby. Um, we're on a server, and I, I don't really know what to do to try and fix that. Um, but it's not looking terribly great at this stage, so I hope it looks okay. Um, let me know your thoughts on that, and whether or not there's a way I can try and um, up the FPS. Oh, it's better out here in the desert, that's for sure. It has certainly improved. Uh, but out here, anyway, I've marked out this one chunk. So we've got this one chunk here, and this is basically my plan for salination towers. I have a feeling I was going to do seven and one. So seven for brine and one for lithium. Um, but... I've marked it out like this, and I'm not too sure. We might do five and one, or six and one, or I really don't know. We could do, yeah, you know, we could do another one in the center and have all of these brine have eight as brine and one as that, and then have the rest of it moving into this chunk for, for all of the machinery and um, fuel production, and then um, the reactor maybe uh, downstairs. We could put it downstairs somewhere, or we could actually make that underground room a power room or something like that. Um, a reactor room would have to like line it with something extremely hard. Um, lead, I'm guessing, lead blocks, and go from there. Uh, I'm not really too sure, but I know we need at least, I think is it four salination towers to run in a level two? I think it was. Or was it two salination towers to live, run in a level two and a, and a, um, a third one for lithium? I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but it is a lot of stuff anyway, so we're going to crack on and we're going to start. Oh, jeez, what's going on there? Why can't I get in the door? Yoink. There we go, it's because I was partially flying. Okay, so we're going to crack on and start making some stuff. So what I have done is I have um, started making some recipes and putting in these things. So if we look in here, I've got a bunch of recipes. The alloy smelter already know how to make some glass, some fuse glass, and a bunch of alloys and those sorts of things. We can make enderium, we can make our patterns with our um, thing, we've got our crystal growth chamber connected up, we can make some um, redstone energy flux ducts, we can make some solar panels, heaps of stuff. But the main things we're working on today is we've got dynamic tanks from mechanism, and solar evaporation blocks, sorry, from mechanism. So that is what the salination towers are made out of. Um, now basically, I'm just going to read out some um, resources that we're going to need. So for one salination tower, we're going to need 131 steel ingots, 146 glass panes, 180 osmium ingots, 27 cobblestone, 1721 copper ingots, 48 gold ingots, 314 redstones, 148 iron to create one salination tower. Now I want to times that by at least six. So there's a lot of stuff. And that, as far as I can tell, is not including um, the four advanced solar panels that go on the top of these dang things. So this is a big build. Um, it's it's going to take a few episodes to get to the end of it. I think we, we may need to just build a bunch more solar panels to keep our base running. Um, but that's no big drama, not too concerned about that, we can just auto-craft those, we've got up to um, the number 4 I think able to auto-craft if we go craftable, and look there, it is, oh no, solar panel, ah yes, solar panel 4, so 256 RF per tick, they're not too bad, the only thing is they don't work at night time, 
Um, okay. So we want to move on. I have got those first two auto crafted. Um, what else do we need? We want to look at solar. So we can craft those, which is going to craft the other stuff with it. We need some evaporation valves, which is going to require dynamic valves. Hmm. That's a solar evaporation valve. And solar evaporation valve requires dynamic valves as well. Hmm. Basic control circuits. There is a bunch of stuff to make. What we're going to start with, I'm guessing, because I don't really want to auto craft all that. That requires a bunch of stuff as well. What are those? Hmm. I'm probably going to have to automate some more machines because otherwise this is going to take a day and an age. Oh. What we'll start with is we will start with making some of these guys. So we want to make these 18 blocks tall is the goal. So I'm going to make 100 of these for a start. Uh, and whoa, that's going to take 800. We're going to use them. So we'll make 100 of those and we'll see um, how that comes along. Oh, there they go. They're moving up. It's going relatively quickly. I keep forgetting we can put acceleration cards in these guys. We're going to need a lot of acceleration cards, but yeah, we can put acceleration cards in these guys and make them go a butt ton faster. So that is certainly a plan. Which one's it using? It's using this one. So, uh, acceleration or card. Do we have an acceleration? Redstone. We've got a basic card. I'm pretty sure acceleration are advanced cards. Capacity, crafting, fuzzy, inverter, redstone, acceleration are advanced cards. Yoink. We'll make six of those. And then yoink. Ah, we don't have any of those. Um, pure. Ah, I haven't taught it how to make that. Pure flux crystal. Um, flux, dust and sand into a puddle to make it. Okay. I will automate that off camera, but that's fine. How are these things coming along? We have a hundred. Look at that. Great. Okay. Let's go outside and start putting this thing together. Oh, wrong way. Really need to make a door out that side if we're going to be going out there all the time. I probably might do. Or maybe a staircase or something that leads up there. I'm not too sure. We're going to start, I'm going to say, with this guy. So I'm pretty sure we want to fill him in like so. Yoink, yoink. So this guy wants to be a full block. And then we just want to make a hollow around. like so um, and what we should actually do is quickly nip inside and make ourselves a builder's wand shouldn't we we've got unstable ingots or we've got sorry stable ingots downstairs so let's go ahead and make a builder's wand of this guy yoink um, stable of these guys yoink gives us a builder's wand and freaking tastic and we should be able can we build the whole thing so we've got two three four five six seven eight nine ten Wow, that's using a lot of those blocks. Crikey. Okay, so we need to make like another couple of hundred of these blocks. Far out. I'm not going to have anywhere near enough resources to make these. We're going to have to get a quarry going as well. Maybe an ender quarry, like a big ass ender quarry. Um, okay, so craftable. These guys will make a couple of hundred. Missing steel cancel we can make steel that's no biggie at all a yoink 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 and yoink and iron 
that's mowing through our iron supplies like so okay start perfect and then the card I thought we made those oh we made advanced cards okay so acceleration oh we didn't have them that's right okay so they are being made um, hmm we're gonna need some valves and whatnot this guy here which of course I think is made from those isn't it it is so we're gonna need some of these which are ba I don't think I've got any bait oh we do have basic circuits fantastic dynamic tanks is those we don't have any buckets uh, B U C. we're gonna craft oh, 30 buckets like so I'm sure they'll get used like so and then it was dynamic dynamic oh crikey what is that dynamic mace from blood magic that looks beastly dynamic tanks the dynamic valves there we go boom so that gives us two uh we're gonna need we're gonna need a bunch of those so we'll make eight that's fine um solar we need oh what am i clicking on we need these guys here solar evap evaporation valves so we've got our dynamic valves we've got copper we should have some basic control circuits left we're gonna make some steel casings 10 of those for now uh and we'll see can we we can one two three four we can make four so i think that is enough i think we only need two we need an input and an output We've got 200 of these. Yoink, 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 and yoink. Perfect. We should be able to finish one brine tower. That will be my goal for today, I think. We're already sort of 20 minutes in. We'll see if we can get this built and also get uh, the brine up and running. I, oh, we might not get that far. We might just get this built because I need to obviously set up some infinite water sources um, to pump full of water. We need some transfer nodes. We need to craft the um, ultimate solar ultimate solar panels, the whatever the solar panels are called that go on the top. Yoink. I don't know how tall we are now. One, two, three, oh, that's not right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, four more. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, we're inside. Now, I'm not sure if eighteen is the level that the solar panels go on i.e i need the gaps in here to drop these solar panels onto or not we've still got a few of them left which is great now we're going to go ahead um i'm thinking that my valves will go where one on this side so because i'm guessing we should be able to have our water sources sort of in the ground i'm thinking maybe into io um uh, what are they called? The something tanks, and they basically create a, a renewable water source that you can even put in the nether and all those good things. I can't remember what they're called, but I'm thinking a couple of those and there, and maybe four of them. So I'm going to say yoink one valve, like so, and then output here is what I'm going to aim for. Perfect. Okay, so that is pretty tall. I didn't realize it was going to be such an eyesore. Um, we want to check our biome too. We want to know that we're in a desert biome, which we should be. Where is it saying? I can't even see it up there anywhere. Hunger, recoil surfaces, feet position. Where is my biome? Why is it not telling me what biome we're in? Dun dun dun. I can't see that anywhere.
Oh, desert. There we go. Okay, so that is cool. It should be a desert, but um, I wasn't sure if it was um, a special type of desert or whether it was just a standard desert. So I'm not sure what gives you the best multiplier. When you have these salination towers in a desert, it gives you a multiplier so that you get more brine. They produce better when they're in a desert. Um, so that is the goal, and that is kind of why we built our house where it is. Right, moving on, we need to make a bunch of stuff from mechanism. Um, so I think I'm going to need some osmium and a bunch of iron. I'm spinning around in circles here, so I'm going to get rid of these because I don't think I need any more of that right now. So I need, we're going to take a stack of iron, a stack of osmium, and we will grab a bunch of redstone as well and head upstairs. And we'll get a bunch of stuff being made. Why can I not hit this elevator block? Right, over here. Okay, so redstone, I think we want these guys in here. What's that going to make? That is going to make some of those cities. We want a bunch of those. Um, I think we also want to put the osmium in there, and that gets us the basic circuits, doesn't it? So. To do that. We'll just look up um, the solar. That is not how we spell solar. Oh, crikey, I did it again. Like so. And we want to, we need to start with these guys. So the basic circuits are these guys are more basic circuits. We need a bunch of those. And then the energy tablets, more of those circuits, gold and some redstone. So not too bad. And these guys here. Are just a bunch of the smaller ones, more circuits and more iron. So not too bad, but we're going to need four for this guy. Um, what I might do, guys, is I might cut away and get some of this stuff made because that's going to take a while. Um, yeah, I've already got upgrades in these things, so it's going to take a while. So I'll cut away. I'll get some of the stuff made, ready to craft these guys up, and I'll be back momentarily. Okay guys, we're back. I've gone ahead and made a bunch of the, oh, what are they called? They are, oh, I can't remember what they're called. They are uh, these guys, the enriched alloys from mechanism, so that we can go ahead and make a bunch of these solar generators. So I've gone ahead and made a stack, which should be more than enough. We're going to need to make a bunch of glass panes. We, of course we don't have any glass. No, none. Okay, craft a thousand, start. Oh, we don't have that much sand. Okay, we're going to have to teach you how to make sand as well, but for now we'll craft 300 and just set it going to do its thing. And then we need a bunch of glass panes. As soon as we've got some glass, we'll be able to do that. Come on, team. So, Yoink is going to give us some glass panes. I would love to auto craft these, but it's not going to happen right now, is it? We can make a second set, and that should give us enough to make some of these solar panels anyway. Like so. Solar, these guys, we need three of you at least. One, two, three. Uh, we'll make as many as we can. We can make 11. Fan freaking tastic. Um, and now we need to make some of you like so we'll make they don't stack of course they don't yoink yoink and yoink i think we need four for each thing so yoink gives us one of those two three ah it only gives us three how many do we need we need four of course we do okay so we need another oh we need bunch of osmium dust okay so we can make that up real quick we will make a couple of stacks of osmium dust we should be able to do that i would presume in here yes we can throw those in there nice and then the other thing we needed was more of those which of course we needed more glass panes now what am i doing glass panes there yoink yoink we'll make as many as we can for now so another stack and another stack cool like so now we should be able to make a bunch of these yoink yoink oh no we need to make those first don't we Ta -da. 39 that's a heap jolly good then 
Oh, what are we missing from there? Those guys, we should have heaps of those. Oh? Enriched alloys. Where did all them go? We didn't use that many. I had a stack. I honestly had a stack. These guys only use two. How much in the solar? What the? This is not good. So, one, ah, oh, yep, they all got used in there. And those guys, okay. Okay, so we need to make a bunch more bloomin' enriched alloys. Oh, god dang it. Um, okay, well, it's probably best, guys, is I'm going to go away. I'm going to get these four freaking solar panels made, and I will be back in a moment. I'll make these four, not just the small ones. I will make the advanced solar generators because basically it's just four of those some more enriched alloys and some iron so i'll whack four of those together and i'll be back when i've got them and when we're setting up our brine tower okay i'll be back soon hey there guys we're back and i have just realized too that i have not put my thing into full screen so this is going to have black bars top and bottom fan freaking tastic um i didn't realize i'd done that apologies um but anyway uh we're gonna need actually no not anyway options video sorry for that guys i did not mean to do that and i hate watching videos with those dang lines around them but anyway in here we have our solar evaporation controller as well which is some basic control circuits some glass panes a copper block and some steel casings yoink we need one of those we have got our four advanced solars made finally um so we can go ahead and wang this guy together right let's head outside long as it's, ah, of course it's night time we'll make it day and we should be able to throw this bad boy together and hopefully it will work we're also going to need to get a water supply working um so i'm not sure what are we at are we at 18 tall we're at one two oh three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen i'm not sure if i think that this is the tower that we can i think that we can go yoink oh yoink like so we also need to throw in where am i going to put these i'm going to have these uh on the insides and we want to throw the controller on there now i know his interface doesn't show up that's okay and then we also want to throw down oh there we go there goes his interface yoink 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 and yoink oh and we have red particle effects so red particles mean yes it has worked we can click on here and we have solar evaporation the multiplier is two which is the maximum which is fan freaking tastic and it is building up heat this is awesome okay so we need to fill it with water um is the next thing so that is really cool so that is the producing at the maximum speed that it can the only downside we have here is the fact that it's not an all day um uh, world we have a night cycle so the night cycle is going to be our downfall um, but we can fix that by i guess having um, some bulk storage for the brine and lithium um, so that it can use that when it is night time that is the goal anyway have more towers than we need and then have bulk storage to store it so that it can um, use that storage up during the night and then refill it during the day because we're going to be producing more than we require um, eventually because it's going to take me a while to build these because i have almost run out of copper making this dang thing just the one there's a lot of copper 
and a lot of iron. Um, it's just a lot of stuff in general, and it's probably it's going to be pretty beastly to be able to look at these big windows and look at this thing. That, that is pretty cool. That cobblestone block and all those torches will disappear eventually. That's just marking out my chunk. Um, so pretty dang neat. Um, okay, what are we wanting? We're wanting. We're going to need a couple of buckets, water buckets if we can. Water, we of course, oh, perfect. Two, one and two. That's a bottle, you egg. That's still a bottle. Come on, those guys. And then what I want to make is a reservoir. <laughs> reservoir, these guys. Uh, so we're going to need some copper, oh, not some copper, some cauldrons. We're going to want a bunch of these. But for now... Um, do we have the fused quartz? I think we do. We do not. I'm pretty sure that we can make that. We can. We're going to make... We need two for each one. Um, I think they make two. We're going to make... Uh, bugger it. We'll make ten. It's Forty quartz. Forty quartz. That is a lot. Um, but that's fine. We can do that pretty sure I've got that set so that it should be working or have I been smelting I've been smelting other things in there god dang it that's okay oh it's super quick too okay so fused fused quartz lovely yoink yoink okay so that gives us two so one two that's one tank well we don't quite have enough of one more and that gives us two tanks. Fantastic. So that is exactly what we need. Um, and then we need some fluid conduits. Um, now I don't want to use these base ones. I want to use something a bit better. So um, we could use conduits from Thermal Dynamics. But I think I want to use the Ender IO ones because they are pretty beastly. Um, so if we type in conduit I'm hoping that they will connect to the thing I really want to use those ones um, hmm it's looking like we could max extract is 200 instant fluid allows multiple fluids to be transported on the same line hmm. the fact that it's instant fluid transportation is what kind of does it for me I think we've got some vibrant alloy uh, we do not but we can make it And that guy there will make 10 of you start um, and we're probably going to want some more fused quartz how many fused have we got zero so we're going to want to craft another 20 of those as well because we're going to need a bunch of this stuff uh, okay so that's going to be waiting on each other but we've got enough to make one set Oh, so that's making the initial ones first. Crikey, this is going to take a minute. That is making the energetic alloy before the... Whatever that other one was called. The green one. I'm um, not sure what that's making. Oh, that's making iron. That's fine. It's just doing its thing, working its way through the iron. Because we were running low on that, so I just went ahead and shoved some blocks of iron into the sag mills. Just to... Uh, get some smelted up so that smelts up and then in the interface in the back of here I've got it to automatically send any iron dust through to this guy um, so that it automatically smelts it up that's doing quartz and then it should do the not energetic alloy the what is the green stuff this guy vibrant alloy so it should do that after the quartz and then we should be able to make these blue and conduits with any luck um, we've got 16 of those guys, we can go and grab, we probably should actually chuck some more iron in there, because we're going to need, we'll chuck another stack in, we're going to need, um, a bunch more, I don't think what I've made is going to be enough, oh, we're out of redstone, okay, we're going to have to grab some redstone, I need to set up this blue and, um, terminal upstairs so that it's working again, yoink, and yoink, we've got 10,000 redstone, so more than enough to keep things sort of trucking along. Um, so we need to whack that into this guy. And we'll whack, bugger it, we can waste some. Whack that in there, that in there, that's fine. By the time that was done. Boom. Okay. 
should have some vibrant alloy with any luck. I keep forgetting where the terminal is. We've got eight. Fantastic. We only need a couple. One, two. We'll take six. Uh, we'll take a bunch of these. 24 should be more than enough. Okay, let's go set up one of these tanks at least. Now, I'm thinking about recessing these guys. Um, do I need to? I probably wouldn't. Oh, I've got a shovel here somewhere. We'll get rid of my builder's wands. Where's that shovel? Oh, right there. Yoink. That there, and then I'm going to put, that should form a multi-block, perfect, and then what we can do, we'll get rid of all this stuff, we should be able to right click on it like so, and right click again, and then it should fill itself up, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, now the plan is yoink, yoink, oh and it connects, it's fantastic, so we want extract, we want always active, and insert fantastic so if we fly up here now this should be filling up with water it is not filling up fast enough it's using the water faster than it can supply it that is pretty insane okay I didn't realize it would do that Wow okay so we're gonna need a better supply That is sucking that thing dry. Hmm. Maybe a transfer node's gonna be a better option. Well, this is a learning curve. Okay, so obviously that's not good enough. Not even close to good enough. Hmm. That's really interesting. So I'm gonna to need to get some drums, I think, to pump this stuff out into and do some testing and uh, get set up with a better water source. I'm gonna try a transfer node um, with some speed upgrades and things like that, obviously to see if that works any better because obviously that is not doing the, it's not doing the job. It's not gonna work. I was kinda of hoping to suck from both sides and uh, do that with one tank but obviously that isn't going to cut the mustard um, but anyway thanks very much for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed i'm going to go ahead and off camera get a few more of these built um, i'm hoping to get six done is the goal six i think for now get these built get them supplied with water um, creating brine and all those good things and i will see you next time see ya